Hitting the store today is this beastie, the T55A. It's a premium medium tank, it's tier 9, and it's in the hybrid nation tech tree. And I accuse it of being guilty of impersonating a T54. And more about that later. It's currently in the stores under two packages. One for 12,500 gold, where you get all the equipment unlocked, a beautiful avatar, the rare camo, the tank and a garage slot, or for 10,000 gold, you get just the tank and the garage slot. That's what the beastie looks like, and as you can see, it is basically looking like a T-54 with a bulbous turret. Armor-wise, well, as you can imagine, it's got a T-54 type hull, and it's got a pretty solid top because the turret on a T-54 and the turret on a 55A is exactly the same. This is what it looks like when it faces off against an E-75 with its top gun. And as you can see, the turret is pretty solid, but the hull is paper thin. I would say go haul down in this, but with a measly five degrees of gun depression. Yeah, good luck with that one. So let's have a look at this beastie. It's got 310 damage, it's got a rate of fire of 8.8 .8 rounds a minute, a penetration of 230, armour of 117 mil, speed of 37 and pretty good rotation. When we look at the more detailed stats, however, hit points you've got 1650. As you can see there, the turret armour on the front, on the sides and on the rear is actually pretty strong compared to the hull. Camo rating is just above average and its view range is just over 300 meters. DPM, you're gonna get 2739 out of it because I've loaded calibrated shells. Reload time is just shy of 7 seconds near his dammit. Average penetration is 230 on your AP, 297 on your APCR, uh, which is actually heat and 55 on your HE. Damage wise, 310 AP, 260 heat and 420 HE. Aim time, just over three seconds. Dispersion, well, it's not great, but it's okay. Gun depression, ha, five degrees. I mean, it is truly terrible for this tank. But in fairness, it's no different to the T-54. Maneuverability, wow, it's pretty nippy, and it's the same speed as the T-54. So that brings me to a bit of a tank compare. So here we have shoved it into Blitzstars, T-54 on the left, T-55 on the right. And as you can see, it's the same DPM. The penetration on the 55A is slightly better than the 54. The same alpha, it's the same rate of fire, it's the same reload time. It's the same caliber, but the 55 hay has better velocity. The rest of the tank is pretty much the same, to be perfectly honest with you, until you get to this part. You can see there that on the 55 hay, the all and the turret armor is lower than the 54, but on its bum, it's pretty, pretty high. Which brings me to a question. Why would you want this tank? It is basically a T-54. In real life, it was also a T-54. The difference between this tank, the T-55A, and the T-54 in real life was this had better NBC capabilities. Other than that, guys, it is exactly the same tank. So. Unless you are a tank collector, or unless you are just starting out in the game, this tank realistically is not worth you dropping your gold for. You can grind exactly the same tank near as dammit 
in tier 9 on the Russian line, which is the T-54. The comparison is marginal, guys. I mean, it's so negligible. You get an extra 18 mil of pen in this. That's it, realistically. You don't get, you get a few more hit points, but the DPM's the same, the damage is the same. And, you know, if, if you're going out on the T-54, to be honest with you, you don't really struggle to pen in that thing because you look for the targets where you can pen. So, what is it about this tank that would I would tell you to go out and spend effectively about $34, $35 on a tank that is almost identical to what you can get for free, albeit you've got to grind it. Like I said, the only people that this is going to appeal to are those who either A, are tank collectors, or B, nowhere near getting to tier 9 yet. And that's the thing. Now, those of you who have just managed to get to tier 9 or have just got the T-54, that you will understand that the T-54 is not a tank that any anybody can just roll out in. It's a tricky tank, just like the Object 140, the T-62A, and the other type of mediums at the higher tiers. They're tricky tanks because they are paper thin in the hull, and you need to understand how to play them. So if you've only got, I don't know, 300 games on your bout and you're struggling around the 44-46% win rate mark, is this the tank for you? No, I would argue that no, it is not. I would argue, bide your time. Don't, don't buy this tank and go out and get slaughtered. You're not going to enjoy it, your teammates are not going to enjoy it, and you're just going to waste your money. But who am I to tell you this? I mean, at the end of the day, all I can tell you is, you know, what I think is the truth. And the truth is this, if you don't need this tank, guys. You know, you can get the T-54. It's the same tank, apart from those few little bits, and they're not massively different. So you can get the tank, the T-54, for gratis. All you've got to do is grind it, use your XP, and you can get it for free. If you've already got a T-54, why would you need this? Because I'll guarantee you this for a fact, you will roll out in your T-54 a lot more than you will roll out in this. Don't get me wrong, it's a good credit grinder. Okay, you can probably get a mastery on it quicker than you get a T-54, because not many people have got the tank. But it's expensive. Realistically, you're spending a lot of money for a tank that you can get for free, in real terms. But it's up to you. I mean, a lot of people want this tank. A lot of people, you know, haven't got the time or the inclination to grind the T-54 for free. And that's your call, guys. I'm just letting you know, at the end of the day, it's about $35 if you want this tank fully unlocked and uh, trust me you need it fully unlocked you need all the equipment unlocked because without all the equipment unlocked it struggles and it does struggle um just like the t54 does so having the so for the extra 2500 gold i would tell you to get it with the equipment unlocked it's a nice tank so is the t54 the t54 is a beautiful tank um but what does this bring that is different nothing and the other thing that I've always scratched my head at, why is it in the hybrid nation? Um, the T-55A in its own right was a Russian tank. It, it, it was developed by the Russians and it was eventually sold by the Russians to lots of other nations around the world, like the Czechs and the Hungarians and people like that. But the Russians still had the T-55A. Like I said, in real life, it's just a T-54 with increased nuclear, biological and chemical warfare capability. So I was always at a loss as to why this was listed as hybrid nation. And clearly there's a reason for that. And the reason that Wargaming are giving him Blitzhanger is that, you know, this is based on the East German version, which in itself is based on the Russian version that the Russians used. 
So, I don't know, it's... It's a Russian tank, guys. Um, it was used by the Russians, it was fielded by the Russians, there were quite a few of them made, um, and it's, uh, it's it's just one of those things. So, you know, it's lovely that Wargaming are telling you that it's basically the East German model, but the East German model is effectively the Russian model. Simple fact of life. But getting back to the tank itself, I don't really know what to say about it, because it's a T-54. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's got slightly better penetration. And it is only slightly better. I mean, the T-54's got 201. This has got 219. It's negligible. If you stick the calibrated shells into the T-54, it knocks it up by 11, so you get 212 anyway. And, it, you know, I have never heard anybody complain about the penetration values on the T-54. So, you know, whilst this tank has better pen, on paper, you know, does the T-54 really struggle? Oh, I don't think it does, in all honesty. It has the same DPM, it has the same bloody gun, it has the same load time, it has the same aim time, you know, it's near as damn it the same tank. Or as they would say in Thailand, same same, but different. And you are going to be spending $35 for the privilege of having a T-54 called a T-55A. But that's your call. I mean, if you've got the money, if you've got the gold, and, you know, you, you want this tank, then by all means, fill your boots, guys. But I'm telling you, you're generally not getting anything different to what you've already got in the Tier 9 tech tree under the Russian line, which is a T-54. It's just like that. Anyway, back to the gameplay. What's it play like? Well, it plays like a T-54, clearly. <laughs> it's got, you know, it's it's that way inclined. And, it, okay, I, I must admit, this has got the, the the tier 10 T-54 gun, and there's two tier 10 guns at the T-54. And this one is the D-10TS, which is, relatively speaking, the bigger of the two tier 10 guns. So you're already getting a tier 10 gun that you'd have to buy in grind anyway. So you're effectively getting the top of the range T-54 when you buy this tank. You're getting the one with the tier 10 engine, the tier 10 tracks, the tier 10 gun, etc, etc. So you don't have to go through the long grind to get effectively a T-54. Once you've got it, it, you know, it's a nice tank, like I say. I mean, I can't knock the tank um, because I like the T-54 and this tank is pretty much the same. It seems slightly slower. It's not. It's the same speed, but it's perception. It's got different armor profile, slightly, as we saw. I mean, it's got less armor on the, on the front and on the turret than the T-54, but it has, ironically, better armor on its arse than the T-54. So that's interesting. It's got a, as I said, it's got better penetration, but it's got the same DPM. So you're dishing out the same damage, you're dishing out the same load, and you're you're dishing out the same rate of fire than the T, uh, as the T-54. So there's not really much change there. It has a few more hit points, uh, admittedly. The T-54 has, I think it's about 10 less or 12 less or something. It's not much, again, it's again negligible. Does it change the parameters of the tank that much? No, in my opinion. It does not. I mean, this is basically a T-54 doppelganger. Nothing other than that. It's a doppelganger. It's a T-54 rehashed, renamed as the T-55A. Um, like it was in real life. I mean, in real life it was a doppelganger as well. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the tank, there's nothing wrong with the tank, I like the T-54, there's nothing wrong with the T-54 either. All I'm trying to point out to you guys is this, if you don't have the cash, if you don't have the budget, don't worry, you know, because you can get T-54, as <laughs> simple as that, you get the same tank for free. Okay, it takes a bit of a grind, but it's the same tank. So don't be too downhearted if you can't get your paws on this thing, because it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you can get a tank that is 
very, very, very similar. It's not identical, of course it's not. It's just similar. And, you know, I enjoyed this game. Um, I'm surprised the Jag Tiger didn't beat me, but then again, you know, if you stick it like this, he's not going to, bless him. We're, we, we get to the thousand hit points in it. Ooh, yeah. 3,000 on damage, bounce for 50, take two kills, and get a first class. Anyway, that's the T55. Hey, the tier 9 hybrid nation medium tank that's currently in the stores, as I said, 12,500 with all the equipment unlock, an avatar, and some camo, or 10,000 for just the tank in the garage slot. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been slightly informative for you and, and able to help you make a decision on whether you should or shouldn't get this tank. Uh, by all means, comment, like, and all the other stuff below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. It's a nice thing to do, and it costs you nothing in real terms. If you've got any decent replays, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com, or you can even join my Discord server where you can upload them there. You can now also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which is nice. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.